Hello again YouTubers, this is Jonathan Asim again and I'm going to be reading to My Thomas Story Library, George. Hope you enjoy it. George. This is a story about George the Steamroller. He was proud and thought he was better than the engines. He enjoyed saying rude things to them about railways. But one day, he met his match. One summer, workmen brought George the steamroller to work on the road next to the Thin Controller station. The road was being widened, so the workmen took down the wall between the rails and the road. George didn't, George didn't think much of railways or steam engines, so whenever he saw an engine travelling past, he made loud, rude comments about the railway. Sir Handel hadn't met George yet. His wheels had been slipping between the rails, so the thin controller sent him away to be fitted with new wheels with broader tyres. When Sir Handel came back, the other engines teased him, saying he had steamroller wheels. With my new wheels, I'll be able to go faster than any of you, Sir Handel said boastfully. The engines couldn't wait to see what would happen when arrogant Sir Handel met rude George the Steamroller. That night, the engines told Sir Handel about the things George had said to them. He called us worn out wheels on worn out rails, Renee said sadly, and he said that railways are no good so he should pull them all up and make them into roads, Peter Sam added in horror. But with, but with your grand new wheels, you're just the engine to tackle George, Scullery said. Sir Handel felt very important. <laughs> Don't worry, he replied grandly. I'll show him who's best. The next morning, Sir Handel met George at the level crossing. So, you're Sir Handel, George said casually. I've heard that you swank around with your new steamroller wheels trying to be as good as me. Sir Handel smiled. Actually, he said, I'm better than you. And he puffed smugly away. George was furious. He didn't like an engine to get the better of him. A few days later, Sir Handel was delivering a special load to the station. As he approached, he saw George slowly rolling along right next to the track. Peep, peep, peep! Sir Handel whistled loudly, but George ignored him. George was so close to the track that there was barely room for Sir Handel to get past. Peep, 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 peep! Sir Handel whistled angrily. Get out of my way, you clumsy great road hog! I won't be ordered around by an imitation steamroller! George retorted proudly. Imitation steamroller? Sir Handel shouted crossly. I'm no imitation of anyone. You obviously wish you were an engine, otherwise you wouldn't be travelling so close to the rails. The two of them travelled the two of them travelled side by side in exchanging insults as they went. No one could explain what happened next. George's driver said he signalled for Sir Handel to stop, and Sir Handel's driver said he signalled for George to stop. But suddenly, it all went wrong! There was a loud crash as George's front roller hit Sir Handel's brake van, which tilted sideways on the track. Sir Handel's fireman went to the station to get help. George and Sir Handel stood in shocked silence, whilst their drivers argued about whose fault it all was. A policeman arrived just in time to stop their driver's argument, ending in fisticuffs. Soon after, the thin controller arrived with Rusty and the fireman to settle the matter. I expected more from both of you, the thin controller said to, said to Sir Handel and George. Your silly quarrelling has caused chaos and delay. Sir Handel and George were sorry. They now realised that their feuding had caused trouble. Luckily, they haven't been going fast enough to cause any damage. 
Once George had backed away, Rusty was coupled to the handle. They moved carefully forward so the brake van tilted back onto the track. Then they hurried on to the station to deliver the special load. Come on George, we should get going too, said his driver. We're starting a new job tomorrow on the other side of the island. George smiled. It's a shame we're leaving, he said. Having seen the engines working together in a crisis, I've decided that they're not so bad after all. In the engine shed that night, Sir Handel told the engines about the crash. Being a boastful engine, he, exag he exaggerated the story, telling them that there was nearly a terrible disaster and that it was only quick only his quick thinking that had saved them. Wow! said Renez in admiration. It sounds like you really showed George who's best. Rusty knew the real story, but he kept quiet to let Sir Handel have his moment of glory. The next day, the road was finished and the workmen put up a fence between the road and the tracks. When Sir Handel heard that George had gone, he was more conceited than ever and told all the engines that he had made him go, aw go away. Rusty, des Rusty decided it was about time that Sir Handel was brought down a peg or two, so he told the other engines what had really happened that day. Suddenly, Sir Handel was being laughed at when, wherever he went. The engine said he needed his steamroller wheels to balance his big head. Sir Handel had learned a valuable lesson. He would never again make up silly stories just to make him sound more important. And a few months later, when he met George again, they had a good chat about roads and railways and decided that they could be friends after all. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you later until next time. Bye.